certainly choose to call Colorado home for many reasons. There's an endless source of adventure within a day's radius, whether it be hitting high alpine summits to exploring the depths of the desert's countless canyons. The access to public lands and diversity of the ecosystems is unparalleled here. Solo trips are a time to slow down, if only for a bit, and reflect. They allow you to connect with the world in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Today my adventure begins on the shores of the Colorado. About to pack up the boat, pack away the bike, get floating. Should be sweet. I think one of the things I love so much about the river is that you can have your bike, your pack raft, all your gear, all your food. And when it's cranking at 23,000 CFS like it is now, you can just absolutely effortlessly float miles. Love me some bike rafting, full amphibian mode. I think it's important to remember that not all adventures need to be massive and gnarly. You know, it's these, these two to three day ones are almost more rejuvenating than the big ones. And the fact that this is on our public lands close to home makes it even more special in a way. Big day on the river today, covering some good ground. And uh, finally decided to hike up to the rim here. Claim myself the ultimate Slick Rock campsite. Good morning. Let's go paddle and bike. It's gonna be a good day. Biking the Cocapelli Trail back to Fruta. Awesome overlook of the Colorado River where I was floating just a couple days ago. Beauty. I would say anyone looking for a nice two to three day adventure, this is the, this would be the go-to if you're looking to get into bike rafting and uh, not super remote and uh, just, you know, half day drive from the front range. It's pretty crazy that we have a, a link up this amazing. It's incredible to explore the far corners of the world, but most important to know your own backyard well. That's why for me it's hard to beat these Colorado adventures that I grew up on.